For more than a week, Republicans and Democrats have demanded answers from President Obama on why the U.S. is involved in airstrikes on Libya. Tonight, the president vigorously defended his decisions. News Channel 5's Curtis Jackson watched the speech and has reaction to it. Curtis? Danita, tonight the president formally handed the reins of the mission over to NATO, while at the same time taking on critics from both sides of the political aisle. From the National Defense University, the president justified using offense in Libya. The president argued military action was needed to protect the Libyan people from genocide at the hands of their leader, Muammar Gaddafi. Gaddafi declared he would show no mercy to his own people. He compared them to rats and threatened to go door to door to inflict punishment. After nine days of airstrikes, the president declared the U.S. has achieved its military objectives in Libya, but stopped short of saying mission accomplished. The United States of America has done what we said we would do. That's not to say that our work is complete. The president used the address as an opportunity to take on critics within his own party who oppose military action in Libya. Some question why America should intervene at all. Speaking by phone from Washington, Congressman Dennis Kucinich said he remains unconvinced. We're in the middle of a civil war. What do I think about it? This is bad news. It's going to collapse our domestic economy. We keep getting involved in war. The president was direct in answering critics who say he isn't going far enough to oust Gaddafi from power. To be blunt, we went down that road in Iraq. Ultimately, it was the American people the president was trying to convince. Will this change? Yes. Can we predict the future? No. Uh, but given the circumstances of today and where he stands, I think he did pretty well. Congress is considering bipartisan legislation to cut spending for operations in Libya. While the president maintains that the Libyan people could ultimately foot the bill for much of the expense as well as NATO, Critics maintain that the United States is NATO, accounting for 25% of its budget. I'm Curtis Jackson, News Channel 5.